Alright, horrible lighting, throat's parched, this will be an awesome video. Uh, let's have a look at three PlayStation mobile games that have just recently come out that are more than worth your time. This is Unama the Puzzle. This is basically, what did I do to deserve this, my lord, boiled down into a match three game. <laughs> That's actually a lot more appealing than it sounds. If I just skip through the logos here. Unama the puzzle. Alright, so you've got boss attacks, which are your boss modes, your training, configuration. Now this I like, I'm just going to turn this down here. Normal and reverse, this is basically what handy you use. Normal, the, the, the dungeon appears on the right, reverse, it appears on the left. So if you're using your right hand, tap, 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 tap. But if you're using your left hand, tap, 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 tap. Very awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, let's go normal, stage one. And here we go. Okay, apparently it sends you through the tutorial. Here we are. So what happens is, you destroy bo blocks by tapping on them, and then combos of three both spawn monsters to slow down the, the hero, but also create new blocks for you to use. So as you see, the red turns into the blue, um, the light blue monsters, the blue turns into the red monsters. You get the idea. Basically, just it's a game about building up your forces. And it is stupid levels of, of addictive. The gameplay is so simple, yet you keep coming right back to it because it's just so silly and fun. Each level involves you destroying about 10 of these bastards. And the one at the end is always a boss fight. Although it's not really anything more than just a, a stronger version of, the, mo of the, um, the heroes before it. But still, this is damn fun. Especially when it gets to the higher levels and it gets really, really, um, really fast paced and challenging. That's right, music too. I'm playing pretty horribly right now, and when you're playing the game normally, you're usually going a lot faster than I am. If you tap too many, if you dig too many spots, the enemy, the enemy hero will chime in and say, "Oh no, I'm not letting you do that," and you get get these little things here that you can't move, and if the whole screen fills up, your game's over. Also, if the guy gets all the way down to the ro the right side here, the game's over as well. So there's a few fail failure conditions. Four of a Kind doesn't really give as much of a bonus in this game as it would in, like, another game. Like, Tetris. Well, not, not Tetris. Like, Bejeweled. It just lets you, um... Just creates a couple more things. Well, no, it doesn't even do that. It just clears the screen and lets more fall in. But, yeah, it's still... It's really simple and really addictive. I don't know what the deal is. It's just... It's just a shitload of fun for what it is. See, when you get stupid long combos like that, with massive scores, it just becomes too hard to resist after a while. Whoops, didn't mean to do that.
Dragons. That would be steam going off. That would be rain starting outside my window. But yeah, I'm sure you get the idea. So that that this is you number the puzzle. I have no idea why they called it that. It's a little addictive match three game that's surprising amount of funds to play. Surprising amount of fun to play. Jesus, surprising amount of funds. What the bloody hell is a funds? And as you can see, it can kind of get you if you let if you play it for too long and let it. Yep, you get the idea. So that's Unima the puzzle. It's got plenty of stages. It's got boss fights, and it's really nice. That's all I can say, really. The second game in our little shop of horrors today is Mega Blast. A lot of games tend to have a few long loading screens, and then there's this. That's a cool ass logo though. Alright, so Mega Blast. Basic idea is, you're the ship down the bottom, and you have to shoot all the enemies, and collect everything that they drop. You press circle to thrust up from the ground, or you can press R and swap sides. So now I'm on top. The game looks really nice, and the soundtrack isn't one of the strongest points of the game, but it's still pretty kicking. At the end of each um, wave, you get upgrade points, and you need to save them up, obviously, if you want to actually use the upgrades. But yeah! It's a really simple score attack shooter, and I really can't complain about it. It's it's a lot of fun. Diving around for the... Those little yellow things you pick up are actually multipliers. So if I just add some to my ship speed there, as you can see, I move a bit faster. There's no checkpoints or anything in this game. You get three lives. You get extra lives if you get high enough score. Otherwise... Lose all your lives like I just did there, and you are pretty much screwed. Not to mention this game is actually pretty damn difficult. Uh, thank you. Now I've got two more. I'll give it a bit more upgrade. Oh, and you can reassign upgrades at any time, so I can do that if I want. Unfortunately, bonuses like the shields and all that only work on the current wave, and the enemies that come across to actually give them to you usually come at like the very end of the wave. I don't know if the waves change later on because there's no continue system in this game, so you... I And I have died a fair few times. Like, this game is actually really hard to survive in on a uh, consistent paces. I mean, like, the, the waves are the same. <laughs> it just gets harder and harder to survive.
But yeah, it's really fancy, fancy little shooter for what it is. Looks real nice. It plays pretty damn well. Get all sorts of little pickups. Yay, I got an extra life and I picked up a non-laser by accident. There we go. Let's put my ship speed up to max. Ah, got hit directly. Oh, I'm lucky there. Um, I'll just grab this. Max power. But anyway, now that we're at wave 10, I'm sure you get the idea. This is... Ooh. Oh yeah, I've, I've been up to here, but I've, I haven't beaten this boss because... Bloody hard bastard to beat. I'm just going to swap sides here. And I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I haven't gone past that point yet because that boss is a bastard to beat. So, anyway, yeah, that's, um, that's Mega Blast. It's a enjoyable arcade shooter with really high difficulty. And I would definitely recommend grabbing it as well. Anyway, let's move on to our final game in this little cavalcade. And our final game is Passing Time. This is actually from Honey Slug, the developers of Frobisher Says and the upcoming ho ho Cum. Or however the bloody hell you say that, you know perfectly well my opinion's on that name. And what this game is, it's basically... It's basically a bloody soccer game controlled with nothing but touch and it actually works. I have no idea how they managed to pull this off mm, so well, mostly. But I'll have to show you once we get in, because this is actually pretty ridiculous how good this game is. Anytime now, please. Passing time! Bloody loading times. Yeah, that guy looks like the pig from Front Which Says. So you get all sorts of different modes. You got you got your leagues, which are basically a bunch of challenges in all the other different modes. You got your passing, which is passing balls around a circle, corners, free kicks, and you can even have full matches, including a league, and just one match at a time. Now if we go to settings and team here, we can actually upgrade our guys' stats. As you can see, I've gotten a fair few guys into high positions already. If I I'm just going to assign these to power and control. That's kind of what you need to take over the world with a professional soccer team, but okay. Uh, I'll... Come on. Power. Control. And you can edit their name, change their head, and look at look down the bottom here. They actually have stats for every team member. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you can even practice with kickabouts. So, the, the game basically controls definitely what, no matter what mode you're in. So, I'm going to go through them all one by one if I just back up here. Passing, basically, you just tap the ball in the circle around like this. Or you can tap back and forth between individual members. And if the, if, if the guys get a hold of the ball, the game is over. And if you do this fast enough... You can unlock the fireball, which can basically singe right through them. Basically meant for keeping up the ball away from the developers. Or the developers. Basically meant for keeping the ball away from the defenders, I should say. Ah, damn, one of them got it. Alright, so if we back up here, corners... The marks say where your team is going to go, so you, and then you pass by tapping, and then you try and make the kick for the goal, and if you get the goal, well, you get the goal. And the, of course, the better you do in these challenges, damn, the better you do in these challenges, the more stars you get to level up your guys. 
But yeah, that's um that's corners. Free kicks are about the same as corners, except well, you know, you don't take them in the actual corners. In the in in each of these modes, you get 60 seconds to do the full challenge. Um, to um to get as many as you can. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, and if we go to the challenges here, we'll we'll say you got your passing fireball, your free kicks, and then later on it gets to the point of ridiculousness where you have to pass around a bomb, and you have to do it before the bomb explodes. Yep, as you can see that. Bomb had a time limit in the top right there. And, yeah, you've got your corners, which basically you have to pass to every person before you actually shoot the goal, which is ridiculous. And up here you've got awards. Mainly it's for the league. Most of these trophies are just for the league. And But then you've got pass 30 kilometers with a single player. Yeah, the basic stuff. Then with matches... You can go league or friendly. We'll do friendly because that's only one match at a time. Yep. Drag to set the run target and slide tackle. I'll just kick back to my guy. Kick back to him. Get it out of the way. Set a run target. Kick it in. And I missed. Oh, I missed. Slide tackle. And I've got my ball back. I'll pass it to him. Make a shot on goal, and I miss it again. <laughs> yeah, if you get you guys close enough for long enough, that red meter will eventually mean they take the ball back. But also, you can choose to slide tackle to speed up the process. Hello. Goal! And the game has two halves. The game goes for about four minutes in real time. Pretty cool. There's no sideline or anything in this mode for some reason but yeah you get the idea and um league mode is basically going through a bunch of them at once <laughs> and you know winning that league gets you a standalone trophy but yeah this is um this is actually a really good game it controls really well the art style is nice the sound effect is um you know reminds me of um an actual fifa game or an actual football game because i have been to at least one, I think. I hope. But yeah, this is um, this is passing time. And rounding this off, both passing time, Yumina the puzzle, or Yunama the puzzle, whatever the bloody hell it is. And, um, oh Christ, what was the third one? <laughs> yeah, basically, Yumina the puzzle, passing time, and Mega Blast. All three of these games are actually worth your time. And please go pick them up and support their developers.